The Blues lineup was interesting for all sorts of reasons. Youth and experience blended together. Sam Hutchinson and Jeffrey Brumer were the centre back pairing, while Paolo Ferreira started a third game in two weeks at right back. The midfield was diamond shaped, the left side of it filled by Nemanja Matic in his first game of any sort since joining Chelsea. And Joe Cole with the captain's armband was the number 10 in every sense, fitting in just behind the front pairing of Sturridge and Barini. So plenty to keep Carlo Ancelotti entertained. He was joined in the stands by Roy Keane, whose Ipswich first team have had their worst start to a season for 40 years. Well, the second string took less than two minutes to score. Ed Upson, unmarked on the back post, couldn't really miss. But that was about as good as it got for the Tractor Boys on this day. From then on, the first half belonged mostly to those in blue. Daniel Sturridge was involved in most of it, the woodwork denying him a quick-fire equaliser. As he begins his quest for match fitness, Matic impressed when on the ball. Neat footwork here, creating the opening, but the shot went the wrong side of the post. Fabio Barini bagged Chelsea's equaliser midway through the first half. A hesitant defender, a perfect first touch and a calm finish. 1-1 and deservedly so, and yet more evidence to suggest the boy from Bologna has what it takes. Ross Turnbull played an hour before being replaced by Jan Sebek, but his contribution was a lasting one, courtesy of a cracking double save. Big chances wasted for the visitors. They should have taken the lead. Chelsea did, and in some style too. Sturridge's left boot placing a perfect shot into the far corner of the Ipswich net. Just on the hour mark, Joe Cole's quality brought goal number three. An inch-perfect pass took the fullback out of the equation, and Sturridge's finish found the bottom corner. Cole himself might have added a fourth moments later, but the angle was acute and the keeper was well positioned to block. He couldn't do anything about the next effort though. Chelsea like a centre-half who can take a free kick. Recent seasons have brought us power from the boots of Huth and Alex. Well, how about this from Geoffrey Brumer? Curled to perfection. Within minutes, 4-1 became 5-1 as Daniel Sturridge completed his hat-trick with another nerveless finish in front of the watching Ancelotti. A timely reminder that he'd like more than the six minutes of play he's had so far this season. Despite the fact it had turned into a drubbing, Ipswich's players continued to work and fight and the seventh and final goal of the game was theirs. Reggie Lamb beating Sebek easily from close range. 5-2 the final score.